In this lecture, we're gonna be learning about color palettes and how to create them. So what is a color palette? So color palette is what I gave you at the very beginning of this course when we painted that eye. I gave you some specific colors that we're going to be using throughout the throughout that painting, and we weren't gonna be using any other colors. So color palette is basically limiting the colors you can use in a painting, but for a good reason. It's not that you're trying to limit yourself to make it harder, you're trying to limit it so that your painting comes out looking better. And by pre-selecting colors and creating a color palette, it allows you to just focus on your painting and not have to focus about the colors the entire time. So let's go ahead and let's start learning how to create a color palette. So the first thing we're gonna do is make sure that your brush tool is selected. The way you create color palettes is basically by just painting colors, dots of them basically, that you can come back and color pick later. Just like I gave you with the eye painting. So the first thing we wanna do is we wanna decide what our main color is going to be for a color palette. This is gonna be the most saturated color. So in this case, let's go ahead and let's go with a green color. So I'm gonna go ahead and select this green right here in my color wheel, and that's going to be my main color. So over here you can see in our color picking tray, um, we can drag this around, and we can make it more desaturated or more saturated, it's really up to you. And maybe I'll drag that a little bit more down into the lime green colors. I think something like that will look good. And I like where it's at. It's not too bright and it's not too dark. It's about a third of the way down and a third of the way over or maybe a quarter of the way over to the desaturated side. Somewhere right about here is good. So let's go ahead and let's paint our first dot of color. So there we go, there's our first color for our palette. Now everything else is gonna be based off of this color. We're gonna make all of our decisions based off this color. So what we wanna do now is let's just start selecting colors around the wheel and then figuring out how saturated or desaturated they should be. Now we don't have to select every color. We can limit our colors if we want or we can give the opportunity to use every color. In this case, let's go ahead and let's do every single color and figure out what saturation level they should be at. If you wanted to, you could just say, we're only gonna use green, orange, and purple in this painting and then limit it to that. But for us, let's just select every single color along the way. So let's start with, let's, we already kind of have this green color, so let's start with this yellow. So the yellow we want to desaturate it a little bit more, and the value doesn't matter as much with your color palette, because you can always change the value, that doesn't really necessarily mess with your color palette. So let's go ahead and desaturate this yellow just a little bit, but it doesn't have to be super desaturated. And then let's go ahead and we can paint that right next to it like that. Maybe we could saturate it a little bit more, something like that. All right, let's move on to the orange. So the orange is really saturated, so we wanna make sure that we desaturate it a little bit. So let's put that almost towards the middle of the saturation. We can go ahead and paint that in like that. Now you can paint these in in big blotches. You can paint them in um, columns and, and stuff like that. It's really up to you how you wanna paint in these color blotches that you're gonna color pick from later. To me, it doesn't really matter that much, so I just go ahead and paint them in as I want. Let's go ahead and select the next orange color. Let's go ahead and desaturate that a little bit more. So now we're like about in the middle. I'm gonna go ahead and darken that a little bit. I'm gonna go ahead and paint that in like that. And already you can see that these colors here, they they look easy on the eye. They're not, they're not over the top or anything or too saturated. The only one that's really saturated is that green. The other ones are starting to become more desaturated and that's good, that's what we want. Next, let's go ahead and select this color right here, this sort of orangish red color. Let's desaturate that quite a bit. So somewhere over here is probably good. We can go ahead and paint that in. Move on to the next one. So this is really red, so we're getting away from that green color. We're actually on the opposite side of the green, so we really want this to be desaturated. We want this to be almost completely desaturated. It's like that. And actually, we could probably desaturate that even more because it's on the opposite side, so let's just really make that almost a green color or gray color. Let's go ahead and select the next color. So this color right here, it's kind of a reddish purple color. And let's go ahead and we wanna really desaturate that because it's on the opposite side of our green. So almost clear over to the grays. So as you can see, it basically just looks gray. And whoops, I accidentally lost my red color. So I'm gonna redo that red color. I must have undone that. So I'll select my red and drag it way over here so it's just barely tinted a little bit of a warmer red color. Paint that back in. Great. Then we'll go ahead and let's select this purple color. So this purple color can get a little bit more saturated because it's not, it's a, getting a little bit closer towards those greens. So go ahead and paint that purple in right there. I'll go ahead and select this 
um, blue color, kind of a violet color. And we can probably put this about in the middle because we're, when we're at these quarter colors right here that are a quarter of the way from our green, we can start getting into this middle saturation area. So we'll go ahead and paint that in. Then let's go ahead and select the next blue color. And we'll go ahead and we can desaturate that. It can be a little bit more past towards the right side of the saturation spectrum. So maybe right about there. Go ahead and paint this in. And then let's go ahead and color pick this teal color. The teal color can get a little bit more saturated as well. So maybe we'll put it somewhere right about there. Paint that in. And then let's go ahead and select and actually that's all the colors. So looking at this color palette, I'm actually thinking that some of these colors could be a little bit more desaturated. So for example, I'm gonna color pick this orangish color and desaturate that just a little bit more and repaint over that. I think that color looks a little bit better. And we can even go ahead and select this green and add some more saturated greens in there. So something like that. <clears throat> Maybe we want a glowing green in there or something like that. Um, but yeah, so that's basically it. Maybe we could desaturate this purple just a tiny bit to somewhere right about there. Paint that back in, and that looks good. So basically the green over here, this is the saturated side over here on this side, and anything moving over here towards this side becomes very desaturated, almost gray. So anything on the opposite side from your main color is gonna be very desaturated, and it's just gonna get more and more desaturated the closer you get to that complementary color. Alrighty. So another thing we can do is for a color palette, just to make it easier, we can go ahead and just select some of these colors. So let's say this orange, for example, and we can just go ahead and drag down the value and just get a few samples of this with darker colors. And then we'll go ahead and do the same thing to this pink color. So we'll drag down the value a little bit. And we'll just continue doing that and just get a few samples, just like that. We could even drag that really close down into the blacks. And so this way we know, okay, so we have all these different values we can pick from this color as well. Because the values don't really, they don't affect your color palette at all. The values just make that color, as long as you're not moving over to the more saturated side, the values won't really affect anything. I'm going to go ahead and select this blue, and I'm going to paint it over here just so we can see it a little bit better. And then I'll go ahead and drag that down a little bit. Whoops, drag that down a little bit paint in that darker version and continue downwards and just keep adding in these darker versions of it so I can come back and color pick those later. Let's go ahead and do this yellow for example. So go ahead and place a yellow right there. Drag it down, paint more, drag it down. I can do that all the way down into the blacks. Let's go ahead and do the green. So I'll select the green. I'll paint the green there, drag that down. All right, now it's also really important to understand that just because, let's say for example, this green that is our main color, it doesn't mean that it has to be fully saturated in the entire painting. It doesn't even necessarily mean you have to saturate it completely at all. But I just want you to know that you always have the option to desaturate that. So let's say for example, you wanna use a bunch of green in your painting, but you want there to be a focal point. And the focal point is gonna be the most saturated green, and all the background areas are gonna be green too, but you don't want them to be as saturated because you don't want them to be the focal point. So remember that you can always take the colors. So if I take this green, for example, I can go ahead and drag this over so it's more desaturated. And I can just do a line of desaturated greens too that I can pull from while I'm painting. So always remember that you can desaturate these colors. So you never wanna saturate more than they should be. So these purplish and red colors, you never really wanna make those very saturated, but you're always free to desaturate some of these more saturated colors more if you desire. It's actually really important that you do that. You wanna make sure that you have a full color palette. So let's go ahead and let's desaturate this green even more. So I can go ahead and take this green that we just desaturated and let's desaturate it clear over here. So it's almost a green um, gray. And let's just start bringing those values down. So as you can see, I have all these different versions of green that I can pull from now.
All right, great. So basically, if I stick to all these colors right here, my painting is gonna look pretty good. The colors aren't gonna look crazy or anything like that. It's not gonna be too much for the viewer's eyes or anything like that. Now, so this is how you create your own color palette. But sometimes it's a really good idea to study other people's color palettes or study color palettes from photographs, whatever it may be. You wanna learn how to study those color palettes and recreate them in your own artwork so you can start building up kind of a visual library of color palettes. So. I have this photograph here, we used it in the last lecture, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and I'm gonna teach you how to pull a color palette from it. So it's really simple, if you're doing it digitally, all you have to do is just take your color picker and you can just start picking colors and then painting little blotches of them. So I'm gonna go ahead and create a new layer for us to paint our colors onto. And then using my eyedropper tool, I can go ahead and select. So I'm gonna select this orange for example and basically what you want to do is you want to find all the main colors. So I found that orange. Now I want to go ahead and find kind of a darker version of that orange. So maybe up here, and go ahead and paint that there. Maybe this lighter version. And I'm just color picking a few of the colors out of here. We have this like sort of red color here. We have some red on these walls. You want to make sure that you're grabbing different values from it as well. But you want to basically just color pick as many colors out of this as you can. So you can come back and reference this later. Now, if you get some colors that you choose that are the same colors, just go ahead and erase those or delete them. You don't need to have duplicates of colors. Um, so you can see right there, that color is basically the same as that one there. So I don't need to add that to my color palette. Now I'm seeing some blue in here, some bluish purple colors. So I'll add some of those in there. Um, let's grab this light purple on the bus. And actually, it's not actually even that light. And that's another thing that you can learn by picking up color palettes from images or other people's artwork is you, you find out that some of their colors are much darker than you think. So this bus here, for example, it looks like it's pretty bright, but it's just because everything around it is so dark. So let's go ahead and continue on. Maybe we can get some of these highlights in here. Get more of a violet color right there. All right, great. So I think just these colors right here are pretty much the basic colors that you're going to find in this image. Um, they vary a little bit in different areas. It might get a little bit lighter or darker, but for the most part, you could probably repaint this painting just using these colors. All right, so your assignment for this lecture is I want you to go out and find either another artist's piece of artwork or a photograph, either one, just something that you really like the colors in. And then I want you to go ahead and create a color palette by uploading it into Photoshop and then color picking it like we just did here and create that color palette. Thanks for watching this lecture and I'll see you guys in the next one.